You know, I think Taylor Swift's new song, Fortnite, really sums up my relationship with the Jaguars. I love you. It's ruining my life. Welcome, everybody, to JG9 News, where we talk all things NFL all the time. I'm Jared Gear and I represent the 904 from a 602, and today we are talking about Taylor Swift and the Eras Tour and how that is going to impact the NFL schedule and not in the way that you might think. I know what you might be thinking when I'm talking about this. You're saying, oh, it's just very easy. You look at when the Eras Tour is taking place in those stadiums. You look at what teams are playing that week. And they're going to be on the road or they're going to have a bye week that week because obviously the stadium is going to be used. Well, partly, but there's a bit more to it that we need to dissect that no one is really talking about. So for those who don't know, Taylor Swift is embarking on her Eras tour encompassing all of her albums, except the first one. She just forgets the first one ever exists. But she's encompassing all of her albums on the store. It's maybe the biggest tour of all time. It is impossible to get tickets almost. It is taking the world by storm. It is absolutely huge and she is adding another leg to the united states she finished the first leg in the u.s last summer and now she's adding another leg this fall to the united states which will take her to miami during the weekend of october 18th through 20th so week seven of the nfl season at hard rock stadium then from october 25th through 27th in new orleans at the superdome where the new orleans saints play and then the week after that november 1st through 3rd where the Indianapolis Colts play Lucas Oil Stadium Week 9. So obviously, Week 7, the Dolphins can't play at home. Week 8, the New Orleans Saints can't play at home. And Week 9, the Indianapolis Colts can't play at home. We knew that already. No secrets there. No surprises there. That's just common sense if you follow the Eras Tour and follow how it's going to impact the schedule. But what about the week before? This might be more weeks than you think in terms of how many games or how many weeks the team that hosts the Eras Tour will have to be away from home. It might not just be one week. It might be two weeks. It might be an extra week than you might think. Because here's the thing with the Eras Tour. The operation for the entire Eras Tour takes two to three weeks. So in terms of the time to transport the stage and take everything down, load everything in the truck, transport it, and then set it up to the time of the concert... It takes two to three weeks. Now, she has two stages. They leapfrog each other. So if you wonder why she would bounce around the country seemingly randomly, that's why. She went from Dallas to Tampa to Houston to then Atlanta. Instead of going Dallas to Houston to Tampa to Atlanta, she went to where were. That's because there are two stages. So that part's not the issue. It's not going to take more than two weeks. Having said that, though, once the stage is there and once it's loaded in the stadium... It takes an entire week to set that thing up. And Taylor Swift is playing on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of these weeks. So once the stage is there, they have until Friday to get it set up. Is it possible to do it in less than a week? Well, we have some precedent for this. The closest deadline we have is when the Eras Tour comes to the United Kingdom and comes to Wembley Stadium. On Sunday, June 16th, Capital Summertime Ball is taking place at Wembley Stadium. For those who don't know what that is, it's basically this giant music festival with a bunch of popular artists. Think of it like Live Aid, but without the charity aspect of it. Think of it like that. That is coming on June 16th. The Eras Tour begins Friday, June 21st. So, theoretically, it's the same timeline for the NFL. There's a Sunday event with the game. If you play the week before, you have the stage ready for Friday if you hurry. And before I even talk about this, I want to show you just for some perspective how gargantuan this stage is. This stage really is unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. I went to the Eras Tour in Phoenix. I went night two, opening week of the tour. Somehow got tickets surprisingly cheap because they did not go through Ticketmaster, they went through SeatGeek. That's a whole other issue. But you look at that stage, it is massive. It is absolutely massive. That stage goes from the back of the end zone to past the 50-yard line. Again, this is at State Farm Stadium. This is not inside an arena. This is inside an NFL stadium, and the stage takes up that much space, so obviously it is going to take a long, long time to set up. But, like I said, 
Capital Summertime Bowl, Sunday, and the Eras Tour starts on a Friday. So there shouldn't be an issue for the NFL teams, right? The Dolphins could play at home week six. Saints could play at home week seven. Colts could play at home week eight, right? Well, not quite. Because the problem is that it's like comparing apples and oranges. Yes, Wembley Stadium has an event June 16th, and they have the Eras Tour a few days later. The problem, though, is that a lot of the infrastructure for the concert will already be in place. You don't have to do as much in terms of setup. Obviously, you have to set up the stage. You're not using the Capitol Summertime Ball stage. You're using Taylor Swift stage. But the floor is in concert mode. The grass is covered up with the flooring that you have in concerts. The chairs, they're all set up. Certain technical things are in place and are built already. With an NFL stadium, you have to start from scratch because you're obviously not doing the concert on the grass surface. You have to put the flooring down. You have to set up all the chairs. You have to do all that stuff that is in place already for the summertime ball, but will not be in place if you play the week before because obviously you're not playing a game in a football stadium not on grass or turf or whatever surface you play on, and with chairs on the field. That's not how it works. It's a completely different configuration. It usually, again, takes a week to set up the venue, and we have actual confirmation from this from when Taylor Swift played earlier this year in Australia. So can you do this in under five days when you don't have any prior infrastructure laid out? That's a tough call. I'm not sure it's possible. I'm not sure you can do it. It might be too much of a risk, because it's going to take a long time to set that stage up, and the closest deadline was that five-day deadline in London, and there was already stuff set up. It usually takes a week. I think Taylor Swift is going to want a week just because you don't want any technical difficulties here. You want everything to go off pretty smoothly and without a hitch. So what this means is that, yes, we know the Dolphins are playing on the road week seven or they have a bye. We know the Saints are not going to be at home week eight. We know the Colts are not going to be at home week nine. But... Based on what we know about this tour and based on the schedule of previous concerts and how the stadiums have worked and based on the deadlines and the setup time, the Dolphins might also not be at home week six. The Saints might also not be at home week seven and the Colts might not be at home week eight. So you're looking at these three teams behind me right here, the Dolphins, Saints and Colts, possibly spending two weeks on the road or two weeks away from their home fans due to the Eras Tour, and not just that one week that Taylor Swift is there. It is an absolutely massive tour. It's really the first tour to impact the NFL schedule since probably One Direction's tour about a decade ago. That one impacted the schedule a ton. This one, probably the first one to do it since. It is absolutely massive, and it's going to have ramifications on the NFL schedule, which we will find out officially on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. And again, I'll be live streaming that action on JG9, so be sure to tune into that stream if you want to learn more about the schedule and my thoughts in real time as it happens. But what are your thoughts on the Eras Tour? What are your thoughts on Taylor Swift? What are your thoughts on this tour impacting the NFL schedule? Do you think I'm right on this? Again, I have no confirmation. I have no sources. I'm just speculating based on what we know. Do you think that the Dolphins, Saints, and Colts are only going to spend one week away from home? And those are the weeks that Taylor Swift is playing at those respective stadiums? Or do you think, like I do, that it could be longer than that because the setup time is going to take a while? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And that's going to do it for this episode of JJ9 News. Be sure you like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to check out my main channel, Jaguar Gator 9, where we talk all things NFL history all the time. Until next time, this is Jaguar Gator 9 signing off. And as always, go Jags.